Well, today is a little bit uh, gut wrenching. It's a heart um, spring tug uh, moment. I'm at the. I'm going to get this right. I've said it several times. I've uh, had to practice this. It's the 48th anniversary commemoration school uh, out in Passang. Chew a light cup. 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 So, um, Santa is the one who start, okay. who start to um, for this activity for have free lunch. Okay. So for having a free lunch, and then they are asking my part Thai yeah. coming here. Yes. So then I thought, why we are not doing something extra? Yes. So I asked all my friends, like a hairdresser group. Yes. Chiang Mai, we have a group club of us. Okay. So should we do something for the kids? Something constructive, haircut. something yeah. useful, something. It's something I feel so happy now. You know, I can well done. Be very, very happy it's, now. It's great that you can give to yeah, the community. Just give. give. Look at them. Uh, yes. They are without asking anything. They are just, just give. They just, they're just happy. That's fantastic. And they are very happy because we are a professional hairdresser or the salon owner. Yes. You see, and everyone makes sure they get a good haircut today. Well done. Normally, the teacher is doing here. Really? Yes. And how? Sorry. Yeah, and and how many there. do you hope to get through today? They said two hundred. Two hundred. What do you think? Two. Wow. It was a Todd Katin at uh, Wat Sampasak that uh, you may remember uh, Kun Wit. And this morning, the girls here, two hundred of them, Kun Wit and his team, his group of salon owners in Chiang Mai, are going to attempt to cut all their hair. Normally the teachers do it, so today they're going to have a very, very good hair style and cut. Well, thankfully, Dai's come along with me today and she's just been talking to the teacher that's in charge of what's going on today at this event. Uh, she was explaining to Dai about there being uh, around about 400 people at the school. Uh, the school depends heavily on donations and although it gets some money from the government, uh, the children here are attending free. They're attending because they don't have a home, they don't have parents, they don't have a support network, or they are underprivileged. So these girls are lucky to be in education, and it's a fantastic job that's being done here. I've got to walk away from this building here because the music in there is so loud. Uh, the music where the hairdressing is being done is so loud and I can't record anything uh, in, the, in, in that space uh, without uh, breaching some copyright somewhere. Now Zonta is a worldwide, it's an international group uh, dedicated to uh, developing, empowering and giving opportunities to women. There are over 1,200 uh, clubs, as they're called, worldwide, and Chiang Mai was created back in 1990s. 
Well, at the Todkut Inn a couple of weeks ago, I'll leave a link below. You remember that uh, Kunwit of Hair Pro de Guru, the uh, instigator of this haircut session today, uh, he was producing pad thai by the huge volume that he was and handing it to people, anybody that wanted to come along could have it. Well, he was approached by Zonta and they asked him if he would like to participate in this event here uh, to provide pad thai for the children at the school. Well, as you can see here, there is a tremendous amount of pad thai being uh, cooked. Uh, it looks and smells delicious. Well, for those who haven't seen inside an uh, industrial kitchen, uh, a school kitchen, prepare yourself. This is what a school kitchen looks like in Thailand. Over here, you have the cookers. Over here, you have the wash basins and the freezer. And then you've got all the preparation workspace along the sides here. Well, the factory's busy in the kitchen. Uh, they're making the pad thai for the children to eat. They've already prepared some across here. There's uh, five here, there's one outside. And they're really busy doing industrial cooking across here, feeding 400 children. So Zonta were over the moon because they're doing something special here. It actually makes it even more special that the children are all coming along with their hair cut. So between Zonta and the hairdressers collective of Chiang Mai, this school is really, really benefiting today. It's a wonderful, uh, wonderful, thoughtful event. Well, the music's finally stopped. 224 heads of hair have been counted. They're all sat having lunch now, and Zonta are handing out some of their gifts and the food they brought along as donations. The hairdressers are exhausted. Not really, they're having fun. They're actually giving each other a haircut now. Well, the joke is at the moment, the guy that's having his hair cut here, uh, he's uh, Ben Arjan, and the lady, in the, the, the young girl in the red over there, she's having a haircut again because Arjan cut it the first time and uh, she's gone back for a, another cut. She wants a second, second opinion. <laughs> They've actually given their heart. They've given a lot of children uh, a very good cut, maybe the best cut they've had in a long time. It's been a good feel today. Thank you for joining me on this video here at Pansar 48 School out in Pasang. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment 
and let me know what you thought about this activity here today. Consider subscribing and let me know uh, that you have subscribed. Uh, it would be a pleasure to uh, know that uh, you have joined because of this video. Until the next time, stay well, stay safe, take care, bye bye. Zuzu! Yeah! Thank you!